and the nice thing about this battery and what allows it to work in both the 480 and 208 configuration is that you can just rewire the same battery system. You can do six inverters, each with six batteries on it, and all of a sudden you're looking at two megawatts of storage. We have the internal EMS system with the display built directly into it, so you can do all of your system controls right on site. If you have really high peak demand costs, if you're looking for resiliency, this is the perfect product for you. The smarter way to go solar. Hi everyone, Joe Ordia here from Solar Surge, and today we're coming to you from RE Plus, the International Solar Conference here in Las Vegas. And today we're meeting with the team from Renan to look at their commercial and industrial solar and battery storage solutions, starting off with the, the big boy here, which is the E-Cube, right? Absolutely right. Yeah, the E-Cube uh, is a 60 kilowatt hour storage system. It can be used with either Solar 30 or 60K uh, to go for either 208 or 480 voltage systems. I like to think of this product as a great bridge product for all of those resi installers out there that are looking to make the jump into commercial and industrial. Like uh, Russell said, it uses the Solark infrastructure already that a lot of the resi installers are familiar with, but you can make that quick jump without having the giant learning curve that a lot of the CNI projects kind of get a little daunting with. What's a typical application where you would see uh, an energy storage system like this deployed? Is this like a a small anything, restaurant or yeah, anything retail? with high peak demand charges, right? So we want to we we focus on peak demand shaving a lot with this application, um, primarily more so actually than res, uh, resiliency. But with if you have spiky load profiles in your project, this is a great to shave those peaks. Yeah, I think that's one. And then also people that just want backup. There's some places where the lights just need to stay on, whether it be a CVS uh, or a local grocery store. If the power goes out and they want to be able to continue to power things like cooling systems, uh, this is a great product because it has a little bit more juice and is capable of supporting those three phase commercial loads. Okay. Now you say in terms of inverter pairing, typically you see this deployed with like a Solark 30 or a Solark 60? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So we have our UL 9540 listing with both the Solark 30K and Solark 60K. Um, both of those are fully certified at this point. However, we do have communications with other inverter companies, uh, supports uh, Solus as well for three phase inversion. We are working on our UL 9540 edition three, which allows us to pair with any inverter and have a full UL listing just from the battery side of things. So looking forward to that, hopefully before the year is out. Sounds good. Now, can we open up and see kind of Absolutely. how it's, it's configured inside? So inside you'll see that we have 12 cells and the nice thing about this battery and what allows it to work in both the four 80 and 208 configuration is that you can just rewire the same battery system. So as of right now, this is wired for the 30K configuration. What you'll see is that there is 12 batteries, each of them in two set parallels. So we'll have two batteries parallel together and then six sets of those two parallel pairings and then run all of those in series to get the voltage that you need to pair with the Solark 30K. So what's the operating voltage on the DC side here? What's the operating voltage of the battery, how you have it configured? Yep, so with this configuration, it's gonna be the voltage range is around 270 to about 360. So okay. the pairs right nicely in the Solark's 30K operating range. Uh, and then to switch it up and to go for a 480 voltage configuration with the Solark 60, all you do is switch it up so that all 12 cells are wired in series. And that drives the voltage range up from about uh, 70, or sorry, uh, 720 to around uh, 860. Okay. Yeah. Now for each, each cell, how much storage capacity? Uh, so each cell is gonna be just about five, five kilowatt, kilowatt hours. hours. Okay. Yep. Because uh, the actual, it's like 5.12 because the actual storage is 61 kilowatt hours. You get a bonus kilowatt hour when you buy one of these. Okay. So five kilowatt hours per cell, but basically with all 12 then you're looking at 60, 60 kilowatt hour storage. Yep. Exactly right. Now, do you typically see for larger deployments that you would connect multiple, multiple E-cubes to a single inverter or is it typically one for one? So that's a nice thing about this setup is that you can do either AC or DC parallel. So you can do multiple inverters, each with a single battery, or on a single inverter, you can do up to six of these uh, E-cubes per inverter. And then you can also couple that with multiple inverters. So say you wanted to do a lot of storage and get a lot of juice, you can do six inverters, each with six batteries on it, and all of a sudden you're looking at two megawatts of storage. One other thing to highlight in here, if that's all right, um, is we have the internal EMS system with the display built directly into it. So you can do all of your system controls right on site, uh, which is really nice when setting up the battery, you can do diagnostics and controls right in, uh, from the internals. Now, Russell, I know a lot of concerns that many consumers have is fire safety with these battery systems. What have you built into the product to make sure that it's fire safe 
and it's safe to be used inside homes and businesses. Yeah, absolutely. There's several factors here that we uh, have built in for fire monitoring and just overall safety of the system. Um, for something like a flood, we have flood monitoring. There's a water sensor, so if any water gets into the base of the system, uh, it will shut itself down. We have both smoke and heat detectors uh, that monitor the state of the system. And in addition, there's also temperature monitors in every single individual cell. If there's anything that triggers that seems like there might be a fire risk, we have an aerosol fire suppression that will release and suppress any fire spreading within. Uh, if for whatever reason something extreme happened and pressure built up, we have a blast lid on the top so that if pressure releases, it releases upwards and does not blast the door open or cause any risk in that, in that way. That's great, yeah. that's great. Now in terms of your commercial solutions at, at 60 kilowatt hours, this is actually the smaller variant, correct? It is, we have a larger piece, the MPAC 233 that we could go take a look at. Yeah, let's do it. Nice. All right, Russell, so now we're looking at a, a scaled down version of the larger variant, the MPAC. Tell us, how does the MPAC differ from the EQ? Yeah, so this is gonna be a larger system, uh, 233 kilowatt hours. And one of the reasons this is my favorite product that we have in our lineup is that it has a built-in PCS. So it has a 125 kilowatt co-watt inverter, which allows us to be a both AC coupled uh, system as well as doing DC pairing to, through an MPPT cabinet if needed. Okay, okay. Now in terms of the architecture here, these appear to be separate storage modules as well. So how does this one break down? Exactly right, yeah. So we have five modules in here. Each of them is run in series in order to get the higher voltage output for a three phase application. Uh, in addition, it has liquid cooling rather than the AC that we saw in the E-Cube. Uh, this has the liquid cooling system that flows through a conduction pad on the bottom of each of those cells. And it is responsible for both heating and cooling the cells. So it can work in really high uh, temperature systems. Uh, like we have some down in Tampa, Florida where it was hot working on those last week. Uh, and we can also put them as far up uh, in Canada or even Alaskan applications where temperatures get cold it can keep itself warm. Okay, and you said you said 230 kilowatt hour storage? 233 kilowatt hours, yep. 233 kilowatt Correct. hour storage. So can you kind of walk me through a typical application where you would see something like this deployed? Are we talking yeah. hospitals, restaurants? Uh, All kinds, yeah, you wanna? Yeah, okay. absolutely. So a lot of the different applications you would see, again, we, we prioritize peak shaving a lot with those, so spiky load profiles. So uh, hospitals, schools that are looking for resiliency, uh, convenience stores, um, car dealerships are fantastic, especially with the EV up upgrade infrastructure that they have. So they, the EV, the level three EV chargers spike up the demand and we need to be able to shave that demand with a uh, battery like this. So all types of different commercial and industrial applications. If you have really high peak demand costs, if you're looking for resiliency, this is the perfect product for you. Great, great. Well, you know, I know as we touched on a little bit earlier, a lot of the installers out there are looking to make the transition from residential. Uh, obviously, as you all know, we're, we've lost the residential tax credit or it's gonna be going away at the end of this year. So for a number of reasons, I think a lot of solar installers are looking at how they can diversify uh, maybe into CNI and other, other segments. So it sounds like this is a good opportunity, yep. especially if they're, they're uh, an installer that's already familiar with battery storage. Absolutely, yeah. Yeah, and another thing that I really like about this, being AC coupled is it's a very good plug and play solution. Uh, another great thing to note is it's great for retrofits. So if you have a project that has existing solar on it with whatever inversion you wanna do, it could be Enphase, could be Solar Edge, whatever you choose to use, you can just drop this in line between the load and the grid and it can charge and discharge and help add some energy storage to what is otherwise a PV system. Uh, so that's really simplified. We've seen a lot of use cases there in California region, especially of people that are trying to add battery storage to a system. Uh, one other thing to note is that this was really designed and optimized for utility scale applications. So you can run five of these in parallel and we sell a combiner cabinet that allows, that brings all these systems together and has a built-in native EMS, both at the cabinet level and at the array level to be able to support uh, peak shaving and utility management from both directions. Sounds good. And so in terms of availability of the product, is it, is it for sale now or? Yeah, Okay. Yeah, absolutely. We have these in stock in the U.S. Uh, we can deliver them six days from now. Give us an address and we can have it on site. Now, do, you, do you sell direct to contractors or do you go through distribution partners or how, yeah. does, how does it work? It's a mixture of both um, with this. Uh, we, we work with distribution partners. It's really, it's kind of, it's a little bit of a mixed bag because um, this is not a stockable piece of equipment, but we do, we do work with a lot of distribu distributors that uh, sell our product and then, and then they push the, uh, the opportunities to us and, and we fulfill it through them. But we do go direct as well too, because there's a lot of contractors out there in the CNI space specifically that like working direct with us. So we're open to both opportunities. Okay, well, if folks want get, to get more information or, or potentially purchase product, where should they go right now? Uh, Renin, uh, uh, Brennanpower.com. Yeah, Brennanpower.com. You can reach out to us. Uh, yep. follow, check out our YouTube page as well. Uh, Brennanpower on YouTube as well as LinkedIn. 
Uh, so give us a like and follow there, and we'll see more of you, hopefully. Yeah, absolutely. So folks, this has been a brief chat with Mike and Russell from Renan, looking at the Renan Power uh, commercial and industrial solar and storage solutions. Uh, folks, as always, if you're getting good value from the videos you see on Solar Surge, make sure you hit that thumbs up button. That way YouTube will know to show you more videos like this. Uh, also, go ahead and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. That way, as we have new product announcements and videos like this, it'll come up on your feed so you can stay up to date with everything. Uh, and of course, that's why we're here at RE Plus is to make sure that you all stay up to date with all the latest solar product and technology information. But that does it for today's video. I thank you all for spending some more time on the channel. And as always, I'm Joe Ordia here, encouraging you to get prepared and be empowered. Thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next video.